Today, guys, what I want to do is uh, actually show you how easy and effective it is to install the Mopeka Pro Plus sensor. Uh, so there's a series of ways that you can actually go about doing this, but the easiest way is actually to log into the, the Mopeka, Mopeka application, uh, at which point you can go ahead and you can select new devices, um, at which point, you know, via the mobile portion, you'll be able to add a new device. At this point, you'll go ahead and you'll fill out all the pertinent administrative information. So let's say this is a demo tank. So we'll go ahead and put demo tank in there. Um, if you don't have the MAC address of the specific device, it's as simple as flipping over and following the instructions under the lookup MAC function. So you'll go ahead at first and you'll pull the part number uh, right here, which is also right there on the screen. Uh, this particular device is M101-5001A. And then you'll go ahead and you'll put the serial number in and you'll go ahead and find the MAC address. It's gonna go ahead and it will pull that directly from the database and it'll autofill right there for you. At which point you'll go ahead and you'll select whether it's a customer tank or a bulk distribution tank. And what that does is it allows you to differentiate between what is your inventory versus what is in your customer tank. So it separates that and allows you to identify what you have on hand versus what's potentially needed by your customer base. So we'll go ahead and we'll say that this is a customer tank. Uh, it will be a propane tank, um, but we do have other solutions that allow you to measure other commodities. But again, we're talking about pressurized tanks today, so that's what we're gonna focus on. Um, if you have multiple tanks at a single location, you can go ahead and input either the serial number of the tank or whatever naming convention works for your organization. So tank one, tank two, north tank, south tank, it has the flexibility built into the system for you to you know, work within the confines of what's best for you. Um, so we're not gonna to mess with that. And then you'll go ahead and you'll select from the drop down menu, whatever size tank it's actually going on. So maybe today we'll do a 500 gallon horizontal, which is a pretty standard size residential tank. Uh, we'll go ahead and select next. And then really this is where you finalize uh, the administrative side of things before you physically put the device on the tank. So you'll go ahead and select what dealer it is, what branch, and then what customer. And what's really neat is if you don't have that information already in, your technician, the person doing the install at the time of install, can actually add those uh, different items right here on the fly from their mobile device. So if you're an organization that's just getting started um, or you know really haven't spent much time organizing the system, you can do that as you go along uh, so that again, it's not a major administrative cumbersome task uh, as you're standing up you know, a, a new system. Um, once it's complete, then at that point you'll submit and then you'll be able to go through and see a list of all of the tanks and all the devices that you have currently out in the field. At that point, we'll go ahead and we'll uh, actually simulate an install at the, at the location. So for today's purposes, this is a, a residential tank uh, at your customer or commercial location. Um, so there's uh, a, a primary and a secondary way that you can go ahead and install that. So first and foremost, um, on site, you'll go ahead and you'll push and hold the sync button for three to five seconds at which point that'll start a, a series of audio and visual cues. So there's a small LED light that'll begin blinking green um, and it will be at a relatively fast pace as well as an audio cue similar to like a heartbeat sensor. Um, so it'll start beeping. And as you work your way under the tank like such, so it'll go here and all the while that LED light will be blinking and that audio uh, sound will be pinging. And once that stops, you know that two things have happened. It's connected to the cellular network and it's in the appropriate spot on the underside of the tank so that you are going to get good results from there. Um, and really that's, that's as challenging and as simple as it is. You know, you get it onto the tank, you tell the device what size tank it's expected to be measuring and then it communicates that information back to you via the cellular to the cloud, and you're able to leverage that as a customer that wants visibility into their tank, as well as as a marketer or a supplier across your customer base.